Hello and welcome everyone to IT Pro Guide. We are watching the fifth video in Azure networking video series and that is about network security group flow logs. So from the name itself, it's quite easy to understand that this is something about the logs. So flow logs, it's a feature from Network Watcher which allow you to view the inf information about uh, outgoing and incoming IP traffic through a network security group. So you know NSG have uh, five parts that is uh, source and destination IP, source and destination port and protocol. These are the things that you use to create your rules. So with flow logs you can get those information and in addition uh, there is two versions like actually version 1 and version 2. Version 2 provides throughput information also in addition to this uh, source, destination, IP, port and protocols. So flow logs actually are stored in a storage account. So when you create uh, flow logs or when you enable network security group flow logs, you need to enable storage account. Then you can also analyze flow logs so you can have a better insights using traffic analytics. I will show you how to configure it but I'm not going to demonstrate it because uh, we are expecting a session on a network watcher and that, that is going to be uh, explained very well in that session. Let's go to some of the consideration that you require when you create an NSG uh, flow logging. So NSG and storage account must be in the same region. If you have a firewall in between you have to disable it. For this demonstration I have a windows virtual machine running named VM2 and a web server is installed. Uh, in the network security group 443, 80 and RDP are open. So what we're going to do is we're going to enable NSG flow logs from network security group that is assigned to VM2. Then we create a storage account when we enable it because uh, as I said before the logs are going to be stored in a storage account. So we need to create it and map it when we enable NSG flow logs. Then once we completed this we're going to verify the logs. There is one more step uh, we need to do is traffic analytics. Uh, that is going to be uh, as I said in a different session about uh, a network watcher we will cover in that time let's start the demonstration you can see i have a virtual machine vm2 so that is what we're gonna work today the web server is installed inside vm2 let's go to the networking and select nsg network security group uh, you will be familiar now how to select and how to open all these things so because the last two videos we were talking only about vm uh, nsg only then from here, uh, go to NSG flow logs. Then now you can see it's disabled and also the traffic analytics status is also disabled. So this is by default when you create a NSG, NSG flow logs are disabled. You can just enable it by selecting on, on this status. Then you can see some fields you need to fill it up. So the first thing is to configure the storage account. I don't have any uh, storage account configured specifically for this one. So you can use the existing storage account. That is not a big deal, but I will show you how to configure the storage account also. And also the traffic analytics status, which give you a better analytics in workspace. And here also you need to create uh, a new uh, log analytics workspace that we can create from here. But for the storage account, we need to go back to the storage account and create it. So let's open the storage account. Then from the storage account, click add button. Then choose the same resource group. Then give a storage name. Then choose a location then you can keep the other things default or you can go for the lower tier also this is a demonstration purpose so i'm not going to explain you much about this then click next and uh, click to create the storage account now the storage account creation has completed let's go back to the nsg from the virtual machine you can see that this vm2 then go to networking then select NSG then from here go to network security group flow logs then select the NSG again then let us configure because the storage account is ready the advantage with version 2 you will get the throughput details also now you can choose the storage account from the drop down list this is the one we created just now 
then you can keep a retention days based upon your company policy then I just turned on the traffic analytics and I just put every 10 minutes uh, you can create a new log analytics workspace uh, from here or you can use the existing one uh, let me show you how to create a new one so just select log analytics then click to create a new workspace then you can enter a workspace name then choose the subscription then resource group name then you can choose the location here then the pricing tier uh, you can use uh, it's pay as you go like it will uh, take the credit based upon the capacity and based upon the data flow so now I'm ready with all the fields uh, which I required so let us save this now okay now the updates flow log settings uh, has completed now uh, in order to browse these logs and uh, troubleshoot you need to go to the storage account you can see that you can download flow logs from the configured storage account a small information on top of the flow logs uh, uh, blade so just click on that that will take you to the storage account then from there you have to select container I'll let it come up now from here select logs account one two three because this is the one we created and attached to uh, flogs NSG uh, flow logs then select container then you can see insights log network security is there then from there go to resource ID then go to subscription then just go down and down and then you will find network security group and the virtual machine name and also or from here you will get the JSON file of the of the flow logs that you can uh, select and you can download these files from here so it opens uh, default with uh, Visual Studio there are some JSON viewer uh, available online you can just copy and paste it or uh, uh, the good way to to analyze these logs actually is through traffic analytics this is the json online viewer uh, so i think it's it's so we will be covering those uh, sessions in very well in network watcher so this is just only about how to configure it and we will see uh, exactly how it works in uh, network watcher series anyway you can even uh, troubleshoot with this log files you can see uh, how the log files are structured uh, from the microsoft documentation i will uh, provide this link uh, below in the description of the video so from here you can match up and find it out all the logs related to the traffic are logged in this specific order uh, structured well so that would be easy to identify it so that is all about network security group uh, videos in azure networking video series we did with uh, three videos about network security group introduction then we talked about uh, service tag application security group that makes your uh, life easier when you configure NSG then we come to uh, network security flow logs so we finished with NSG but we will continue the Azure networking series so the, so the next topic is going to be how to manage a public IP in Azure networking so subscribe my YouTube channel for more videos thank you for watching this video